What's going on guys? You know, I should probably get out of this jacket. That's more like it. If you guys are new to the channel and like videos about photography and videography, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. A few weeks ago, I did a video about the items I'm gonna have in my camera bag going into 2021. During that video, I mentioned that I'm in the market for a new bag and I finally found the bag. The Endurex Large Camera Backpack. After doing tons of research and trying to find the bag that suited my needs the best, I came across this bag on Amazon. Boasting tons of pocket space and being able to customize everything inside the bag to fit my needs perfectly, I knew that this was the bag for me. So let's get into the features. Let's start with the outside storage. On the top of the bag, there's a hard shell storage compartment. This is perfect for storing those things that you need quick access to, but need the most protection possible. I like to use this compartment for my drone so that I have quick access for it. But like I said, you could use this for anything you need quick access to. Under that compartment, we have a pair of pockets. This outer pocket is great for storing your keys or wallet while out in the field. The inner pocket is your usual pen and small item storage pocket that you find in most bags. I use this pocket to store things like pens, USB drives, or any little gadgets that you don't want clinking around in your bag. The sides of the bag feature straps that you can lock your tripod or gimbal into to have quick access whenever you need it. And each side has mesh pockets which are great to store your water bottle. The straps on this backpack are super comfortable and allow for you to adjust where the bag sits on your back, which is a feature I haven't seen in a camera bag before. With this, you have the ability to decide how you want to carry the weight on your back. So if you have a bad back, you can decide where you want to comfortably carry that weight. Another feature I hadn't seen on a camera bag before is the ability to harness your camera so that it's readily available while you're wearing the bag. This is useful if you have two different cameras with you and they have different focal lengths and you want to be able to switch between the two without having to put them in your bag every time you're done with it. On the waist strap of this bag, there are tiny pockets on each side which allow small things like camera batteries or SD cards. So if you're out on a long hike and need to switch out these things, they're available without having to open your whole pack to get to them. This bag also has two rubber feet that give the bag some stability and allow it to stand up as most bags I've had in the past just fall over with the weight inside of them. This makes it easy to just place your bag down and be able to go through it without having to worry about damaging something if the bag falls over. This bag also has a back slot which is good for your laptop if it isn't a 15 inch MacBook. I had some trouble trying to get my MacBook in and I know that I probably won't be using this to carry my laptop just for how difficult it was to get the laptop in and out of the bag. Now let's dive inside the bag. The inside of the top compartment is the largest part of this bag. It offers several zippered pouches and mesh compartments which are perfect for wipes, memory cards and filters. Once you unzip the fold down pocket that is in front of the lens and camera portion, you can customize the Velcro dividers however you like. Here you have the room to store one to two camera bodies along with lenses, speed lights, or whatever you need to have on hand quickly. On the back of the main compartment flap is a deep zippered pocket that is perfect for camera and rechargeable batteries. The lower compartment is the interesting part of this bag. It comes with a small little pouch in it by default, which can be taken out of the larger bag and used to carry around a camera and a couple lenses, either by waist strap or shoulder strap. This lower compartment comes with extra Velcro dividers, which allow you to use it to store the smaller pouch or create more cubbies to fit additional camera gear and lenses. Now that we went over all the features, let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros. This bag has so much room. With my last bag, I felt super limited about how I could customize the inside of it and the portion that actually held the camera didn't allow for me to really fit more than one body and two lenses. Now I have the ability to store not just one camera, but multiple cameras, lenses, my drone. I feel like I only need one bag, whereas a lot of times I'd have to carry around two or three bags just to bring everything I needed to a wedding or photo shoot. So this bag has just made my life a lot easier. This bag is super sturdy. With the rubber feet, I don't have to worry about it falling over all the time. And based on the quality that this bag is made with, I know that it's gonna last me for years to come. This bag comes with a ton of extras. To have all the pockets that it has, the mini bag that you could take out and have extra storage is a great addition to this bag. Now let's talk about the cons. Lots of YouTubers will shy away from telling you the things they don't like about a product because they're being paid by the company in order to make sales drive on that product. I bought this bag with my own money. I'm not getting paid by Endurex. I never buy a bag because of its aesthetic. The one thing that turns me off about this bag is all of the neon green. When I'm at a wedding, I don't wanna be a standout. I wanna blend in, but I feel like with all the green that's on the outside of this bag, it's really gonna make my bag stand out and make me stand out as a result of it. So if there's one thing that I could change, I would just have this be solid black, no extra green on the outside. I don't mind it on the inside so much because you don't see that as you're walking around, but this thing definitely draws attention to you. The only other con that I found with this bag 
was the laptop storage. I know most photographers don't edit on a 13 inch laptop. Kinda is a bummer when you're traveling and you wanna be able to carry your laptop with you. It makes sense to be able to fit it in your camera bag. And with the space that you have to fit your laptop, it just isn't possible with this bag. All right guys, that was my breakdown of this bag. I hope it gave you good insight on the features this bag comes with. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.